hey friends and family um i'm gonna uh, uh, apologize um because i know i don't have my act together right now and um and then i'm sure the last couple of videos you know when you're grieving you're you're grieving and um so but uh my mom arrived today um if she is mm -hmm. she live in a corn <sighs> and i appreciate the the box they put her in um maybe it's not fancy looking or anything but if i needed to go through an airport with her it's it's scannable to show that there's nothing dangerous inside um she's certainly not dangerous anymore um but uh she's with me and um I'm glad to have her with me. Um, my mom, Sheila Renee Korn, was 71 years old at the time of her death. Anybody who knew her later in her life probably didn't know this woman. And um, this this woman is was a special woman. Um, she passed away Sunday. December 26th of 2021 at uh, Fisher Titus Medical Center in Norwalk, Ohio. Um, she was born October 3rd of 1950 in Elyria, Ohio. Um, to her parents, um, the late Price Charter Corn and Gladys Margaret Halitska. Um, she was a graduate of Illyria High School, class of 1970. And um, besides being a mother, a grandmother, and a great-grandmother, she was an artist. Um, many people maybe probably don't know that, but she was a very talented artist. Um, she could sketch you with accuracy like you wouldn't believe. And uh, she was also excellent at painting. Um, I, I wish I had some of her her work to share to to show you how talented she was. Um, she is survived by her brothers Edwin, Jordan, Michael, and her baby sister baby sister Vicky Marie. Um, of course, she is survived by myself, her daughter, Renetta Marie, and um, my two children, um, Charles Allison and Cherokee Corn, and her son, Jason Christopher Corn, and his two children, Andre and Kavan, and his three grandchildren, which would be her three great grandchildren. Um, she was preceded in death by her parents, Price Charter and Gladys Margaret, by her brothers, Frank Adam, Price Henry, Paul David, David Paul, and her sister, Barbara Ann Corn. Um, my apologies, I was not able to um, hold any visitation or services. Um, yeah, that was... I just, I didn't, on top of not having the time to be able to do it, um, I didn't have the money. Um, but the arrangements for her, her cremation, and to get her home to me, was arranged by Evans Funeral Home and Cremation Services in Norwalk, Ohio, at 314 East Main Street, Norwalk, Ohio, 44857. Um, if you needed to enlist their services, they can be reached at the phone number of 419-668-1469. And they, or you could go to www.norwalkfuneral.com. Um, 
I am very grateful to them for how kind they were um, with, in dealing with this for me. Um, I'm sure they could use some donations to help when families can't afford things properly. Um, and then uh, you can make those donations in her name. Um, as for us, I have to work today and I already took my three days of bereavement. So I hope since she arrived today that I make it through work without crying like a big boo baby all while I'm trying to work. Um, I don't think she really realized how much I loved her. Um, I don't think she realizes how much I've missed her and how much I'm going to continue to miss her. But she's home with me now. And, um, that's, that's it. Um, I hope that, um, don't take your loved ones for granted. Don't push them away when they're trying to be close to you. Um, as people who are being pushed away will eventually go away. Um, but this is, this is the mommy that's, that stays in my heart with me. The one who loved me and encouraged me and took joy in my successes. And um, I'm gonna choose to hang on to the good stuff and remember the way she laughed, like the way she laughed when Brutus sat on Jason's face. <laughs> yeah, there's a little story there about a big dumb dog that uh, little brother tried to walk by himself and the dog took him for a drag and to to get him to to stop dragging the the little brother mom yelled Brutus sit and he obeyed and when he sat he sat right on Jason's face <laughs> the way she laughed at that it's it's heartwarming for me now yeah. But, um, friends and family, thank you for your love and your appreciation and your support during this hard time. Um, but she's, she's at peace now. And I, I take comfort in that. All right. And I wish you peace in your lives and in your hearts. Love you, friends and family.